So for this, I'm using a red Beavis 14 knot. I'm gonna come in right behind the bead, catch that thread there and clip my excess. Come in with my three strands of crystal flash for the tail. Catch those and I'm gonna wrap back to a point that's about or approximately even with the bottom of that tungsten bead and then return that thread right up by the bead. When I cut these, I wanna make sure that they're about the same length as the hook shank. Thereabouts, doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be somewhat close. Then I'm gonna come in with a strand of pearl tinsel and I'm gonna put this right up behind the bead. Catch it with the wrapper too. Stick the nose of my bobbin right up in there and work that right back down to where those tail fibers are. Then I'm gonna bring in a piece of gray ostrich hurl. And similar as you would with my fusion, you're just gonna catch this by the tip and then take that thread right back up to the front. Easiest if you have a rotary vise just to work this around. You wanna lay down side by side wraps, doesn't that be perfect? The end result's gonna be kinda of nice and buggy. And we're looking to cover about two thirds of the hook shank or roughly about up to where the hook point is. So you can catch that behind it, take an extra wrap or two, and snip that off. Make sure that vise is locked down. Then as you go to wrap this around, you wanna wiggle it. It's gonna catch some of the fibers, but some of them are still gonna stay free. And that's really what you're shooting for. Take a few wraps, keep working it, keep wiggling it so that some of those fibers still stick out. Moisten your fingers and your thumbs and brush that last little bit back. And then when you get right up there, you can go ahead and catch the tinsel. A couple wraps in front, a couple wraps in back, and snip that off. So I'm gonna take the red thread, I'm gonna wrap right back over the section that I just cut off. And I want to stop right about there at the hook point. Then I'm going to bring in a little bit of this loon swax. I hit the thread here, just enough for me to create that open W loop. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit of that sow scud rainbow W. I want to just pluck the fibers off of the edge. I don't want anything too thick. Nice thing with that tack is it's going to allow me just to stick those to the thread. Once I've got what I think's enough there, I'm gonna close off that W loop, spin it together with my fingers. So I get these fibers that are kind of sticking out off the edges. Ideally at that point, I'm gonna grab this with my rotating hackle pliers. Really important that as I bring these wraps around, that once I start to lay fibers down, that I brush them back with my fingers. Just keep brushing them back until you're right behind the bead. I'm sure you got a good wrap or two to fill the void behind the bead. Come over, catch it with a wrap or two behind and in front. Snip the excess. I like to stick the nose of the bobbin right up in there. Catch it with a few good wraps. And then these fibers that stick back, you can just take your fingers and you can just pluck them off. You want them at about the same length as the body. So I'm going to build that up a little bit to form a little bit of a red collar. And then once I've got that formed, I'm going to come in and just quick finish that by hand. And last but not least, and always important, a little bit of zap a gap. You can just kind of loosen the vise there. Just give it a quick rotation. And there you have it.